Good morning, Hunter, camera, everybody that's watching. Got to catch them today. You know, this is the part of this sport is there's no days where you just kind of got it licked. Like there's no time where you just like go out there and chill until you make it to like day four and you're in ninth or tenth or something with, you know, way back. Then it's just like chilling. But like today, got to catch them again just as good as we did tomorrow because the cut line is like 17 something i had 18 something which gave me a tiny bit of cushion not really cushion but i only have to catch 16 today to make the cut i don't know we'll see what we can do went yesterday evening during the tournament looking for another big one on bed didn't see any more big ones that i thought were cool did see some more that were in the two to three pound range so got some Still going to try to run some points early, see if we can catch some, you know, because that would be a good way to start is pull up on a place to catch two or three really, really fast would be phenomenal. So I got one really good point. I'm going to run to it. It's a long run and uh, long for this lake. It's like, I don't know, eight, ten miles, something like that. So got some stuff to try. Then we're straight to looking at them as soon as that sun gets up enough where I could possibly see them. So kind of looking forward to today. You know, I like I like the figuring it out on the water having to do that kind of stuff i i, I enjoy it that's what we gotta do today we gotta go find some more gotta go catch some more and we gotta figure out how to catch them daggum ones on them points because it ain't easy like the bait they're they're eating is that color and that size everything i weighed in two on it yesterday but they were one was off bed and one was garden fry, so they, I was going to catch them on something. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think all them, all them cruisers, what are they just post, they post spawn, already done it, or are they getting ready? Yeah, they've already spawned. They're eating bait. I haven't seen one eat yet, though. They just, they're just sitting, and then the bait's up there with them. All right. I hope nobody's on my, th my spot, because they're, they're there. Right number today for getting there first, but you can stay a long time this evening. Yep. I gotta map it out, see how far it is. So that'd be 4:30 Eastern when they when they come in today, right? Yep. 4:30 Eastern. Yep. Yeah. I looked for bed fish for the last three hours of practice. The and I was finding them. The and then my trolling motor batteries died. So I, I only looked for like two hours. And I found a, enough, but I didn't get to look for, I didn't look much. I should look more. I should look the entire practice. Or the last two days. I got just enough bites fishing to think I could catch a big bag fishing, maybe. Jacob Parasnik. Oh, no. His first season on the Bass Angler of the Year, truly a living legend, the one and only Larry Nixon. Right behind him. Right behind him. A three time Bass Nixon will keep the winners going. His second event, and he already right, took an Elite Series title. Looking to keep that streak going. The Cowboy, Joey right, Fuentes. A two-time Bassmaster winner once in the Opens and once in the Elite Series from Wisconsin, Killer Kufal. He's a two-time Bassmaster winner, eight-time Bassmaster classic qualifier for Fort Worth, Texas. This how dangerous one, Chris Salvain. Elite Series rookie, Josh Krishner. He lagged back, so.
there twice. The biggest ones I've seen though have been right here. Like giants came up right here yesterday. These were little bass, kind of happy. Number one, baby. Got us one. Good one. Pretty good one. That's a boy. Yesterday, he's a little bigger. We got him today, though. A little four pound male. How about that? Yes, sir. One eight, and that should be number five. Is it a platform? That might be. Bit, dude. Yes,
<laughs> Dude, I'm freaking shaking. <laughs> Dude, she went right to it. Let's see it. <laughs> I mean, right to it. Oh, give me a little bit, dude. <laughs> oh my God. That's awesome. She was sitting up there on the seawall and practice, and I threw first cast, and she turned around just like, like I knew I could have caught her just by the way she went first cast. I came here yesterday and she followed my bait, but I couldn't catch her. Like, I didn't see her again. I, was, I felt rushed when I was here. You can see it, dude. I thought about starting on that fish. And I came here in practice. I mean, the last day of practice, the evening, she wasn't there. She was out on that big stuff. And I couldn't get her to react right. So I was like, I'm not starting on it. But I still came here anyways, and I caught a three and a half in the pocket. Oh my goodness, dude. You and the wacky worm, y'all gonna make a believer out of me yet. Dude, I, I made a perfect cast. I, I don't know if you could, could see her suspended up over that stump. No, because it was when you, when you set the hook, you, it was in a direct line from that seat. Dude, when that bait hit the water, she, she seen it and went straight to it. And I, and I thought she was gonna turn away like them cruisers. She went, dunk. Cause you said, cause you had just said. There she is. There she is, she's up here. I'm gonna catch her. And you threw out there and first cast, you, she, that's when she took it. Get a bag, go get one thing. I'll clean up my, clean up the spot to get out of the way. That way you can get what you need, is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. All right, hey man, I enjoyed it. Yeah. I'll, uh, we had a lot of fun. Did the weights go crazy today? Kinda. I figured they did. What did y'all, what y'all get? Oh, you, you always try to see my scale and then guess my weight. I didn't see you. Let me try to do, so today you just have to guess them without knowing. Oh, okay. So you just want me to not know? Whatever. Get a hand. Oh, you already got one? Okay, I know you can get one. I've got some other pictures. Stay posted on Bassmaster. You bed fishing. You know that big one from yeah. practice? I said I went and checked on day three of practice. Said it was gone. Pulled up today. She was sitting on a stump. I caught her first cast. Oh my gosh. Well, is a, you said it was like a six. It ain't that big. Is the three eight a four and a half? I don't know. Okay, look, well, it's a three eight. All right, hold on, I gotta do some calculations. <laughs> okay. That I almost caught yesterday with lifted for today. That's way bigger than three and a quarter. I know. They must be like deeper than you think they are. Oh, that's a good one. That's the one that was on bed the other day. Good one there. You got 20? Yeah. Good deal. Hey, that's what they are asking for. 20. Oh, let me get it down for you. Here's the hero right just here. Just hold, just hold it up. The hero of the day is Mr. Darren Walter. <laughs> okay. I'm the phone. I'm the phone hero. Yes. Oh yeah. It was good. It was fun. Called uh, two of them on Wasco, three of them off the bed. So we'll take it. The biggest one? Uh, my second biggest one was offshore ish, and then my smallest one was on Wasco. You might give us a look. Go on. You got over 20. I'm not going to be able to do it. 
I got a, uh, I got 20, 20 45 on a rap of him. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's a Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Alabama, Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. Had 18-13 yesterday. Looks like another good day here today. Looking for 14-13 to get inside the cut. More to stay there. I don't think there's a problem with that. 18-13 yesterday. Today, 20 pounds, 15 ounces. With 39 pounds, 12 ounces. Stone Cold Kyle Welcher moves into 12th place currently. And look out. He's in contention for the top 10 going into semifinal Saturday with 39 pounds, 12 ounces. And man, that's got to feel good. You're having a great year, Kyle. Yeah, it, it does feel really, really good. You know, I saw the potential yesterday. I just couldn't get half of my day I spent trying to catch those fish that were, you like, everybody sees them, everybody sees them swim around. They're extremely difficult to get them to bite. Today I got lucky and got two of those fish to bite. So I'm doing what I want to do. I'm jumping around, I'm fishing deep, fishing shallow, catching some off the edge, just kind of doing everything. And today it just kind of worked. I caught them every way I wanted to. So it was, it was a good day and I'm just excited to go tomorrow. Excited to see how it goes for you. Wish you luck. See you back here tomorrow. Third cut. Third one been you know a good year so far we have right now we're in 12th place not far at all outside the top 10 but we want to be in contention if you make the top 10 you want to have a good shot to actually go out there and catch a big bag and have a sh chance to win so today the conditions have changed a ton the guys who have committed and figured out how to catch them on those herring spawn places they're going to smash them today and I have been mixing in both along with some that and some bedfish. So hopefully I can get that point deal to work the way I need it to today because that is how I feel like I'm going to catch the biggest bag that, you know, uh, the most potential that I have to catch a big bag is running those points. I'm seeing so many really, really big ones on these points. So today I'm going to start somewhere different. Every single day I have started in a different spot. And on day one I started in a spot. And I, I jumped off one, ran to my second spot, broke off one that got me around a rock at first and was coming back to the boat and his teeth was on my line. And then on day two, I started on a completely different spot on the different side of the lake. They came up schooling a couple times, had a couple bass bite, but I didn't hook them, ended up leaving it. And then today we're going to start somewhere different again. So mixing it up, running around, starting in different places, just trying to have that collision. You know, because I know some guys are... At least I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like some guys are starting on some places and catching some really big ones early. And I know that can happen here. I'm not, I don't, it doesn't really matter that some guys are doing it. I know that can happen here. And that's what I want to have happen. You know, it hasn't happened to me yet. I've been struggling for the first hour and a half every single day and had to kind of pick one off here and there. But uh, today, hopefully we start on a point. It's got a lot of really, really big ones on it. And hopefully I'll catch two or three of them really quick. So, I mean, that's kind of the plan. And hopefully today we have that collision at some point where I catch a couple of those really, really nice ones really fast. And then I can go pick one off here and there, you know, kind of onesies, twosies. I've got a couple of uh, decent ones on bed, you know, in the, in the three-ish pound range, I guess. Two and three quarter to three and a quarter. And then don't really want to fish for those. But if I have to, I definitely will. I probably will go fish for one of them because I don't really know how big it is. And it might be, it might be over three, a decent amount. So... Going fish for it probably. I just kind of got to see how the day goes though. If that point deal is working and there's you know four and five pounders that are biting on every point finally, that's what I'm gonna do. But if it's not, you know we'll just kind of go make adjustments from there. So this lake is phenomenal, awesome lake to fish. I'm just glad we made day three. Ready. We're just waiting on 7 o'clock now. I'm excited about the conditions. I just hope I can figure out how to make them bite. I'm going to catch two on every, every rod.
Changed up some stuff, started in a different area, didn't catch one for a long time. Probably went two, two and a half hours without catching one. And then I finally seen a couple cruising, I caught one that was almost three and a half. And I just started running stuff. I ran some new water, put it up to a point, they were blowing up on it. Five pounders jumping out the water. I throw in there and catch a two and a half. So I run, catch a couple bed fish, come back to the point. Well, and then I went to another stretch, had a bunch of cruisers on it. So I caught a three and a half, another cruiser. And I ran back out where the five pounders was blowing up. And I seen one swim around, pitched to it, caught it, it was a five pounder. So there was one point with a bunch of five pounders on it. I just only got one on the bottom. This is pretty good for a buffet. The first buffet I made in like five years. It felt weird. Having you on the Elite Series. He's a Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Alabama. Get loud for Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. 39 pounds and 12 ounces coming into today. He's looking for 18 pounds, 13 ounces. 17 pounds, 14 ounces. He moves into 13th place with 57 pounds, 10 ounces. But another good finish for Kyle Welcher and Finn Freaks of Nature right back are the difference makers in a bag of bass from this incredible body of water. We're going to weigh that? No, we're not going to weigh that. Nothing to see here. Tell me about your tournament, a good one. Yeah, this was actually, I was kind of scared of this one because you can see all these fish. I, firstly, I have never fished a lake in my life where I've seen this many big fish just swimming around. You can't go 10 foot without seeing a three to five pounder, but I was kind of scared of this one because it's very difficult to get those fish to bite. But I mean, I, I love this place. I, I would like to come back when they're biting a little bit better because I mean, you just see them going everywhere and can't hardly catch them. But th this lake is phenomenal. Like one of the best ones I've ever seen in my life. But yeah, it was a, definitely a good week. Got some good momentum. We got another good lake coming next week, though. So that's where our, our kind of focus is going towards now. Get rigged and get ready. We'll see you there in a few days.